Visceral fat isn't just the fat you can see on your body. It's the dangerous type of fat that wraps around your organs and it can lead to serious health issues. In fact, studies show that high levels of visceral fat, that belly fat, is linked to an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic conditions. Welcome to the first part of our two-part series on visceral belly fat. In this video, I'll explain what visceral fat is and uncover five surprising ways it impacts your health. Make sure to tune in for part two where I'll reveal the top signs that visceral fat is actually affecting your health and what you can do to get rid of it. For those of you meeting me for the first time, I'm Dr. Ashley. I'm a PhD nutritionist, registered dietitian, weight loss expert, and founder of PhD Weight Loss, where we've helped over 7,200 people across the U.S. drop over 260,000 pounds. My goal is to arm you with the scientific knowledge you need to successfully lose weight and keep it off for good. So what is visceral fat? What is this belly fat? Well, Visceral fat is this belly fat that's stored within your abdominal cavity, surrounding your vital organs like your liver, your pancreas, your intestines. Unlike subcutaneous fat, you know, the fat that just lies right underneath the skin, this visceral fat is deeper and a lot more harmful. Recent literature, including a review from March 2024, highlights its significant impact on your overall health. So first, I want to talk about this metabolic health. When the storage capacity of the subcutaneous cutaneous fat tissue reaches its, its limits. Let's say, again, this fat tissue that's right under the skin, when it fills up as much as it can for your body, and that amount is different for each person, the additional fat spills over into the intra-abdominal depots, forming this visceral fat. High levels of visceral fat, like I said earlier, are strongly linked to metabolic syndrome, these cluster of conditions that increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. According to a study in the Journal of Clinical Investigation, visceral fat secretes inflammatory cytokines and adipokines that contribute to insulin resistance and chronic inflammation. These cytokines are basically chemicals that are being secreted by this belly fat that causes a baseline high level of inflammation in the body. It also impacts this visceral fat and these hormones being secreted. It impacts your cardiovascular health. Belly fat is a major risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. It releases free fatty acids in into the bloodstream, which can accumulate in your liver and lead to dyslipidemia, which is abnormal amounts of lipids or fats in the blood. This condition is characterized by high levels of that bad cholesterol, that LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, and low levels of the good cholesterol, that cholesterol called HDL. The American Heart Association has found that individuals with a lot of belly fat are at a significantly higher risk of heart attacks and strokes. This visceral fat affects negatively your liver health. Excess belly fat is associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. It's a condition where the fat builds up in the liver without alcohol consumption. Visceral fat contributes to liver inflammation and fibrosis leading to severe liver conditions like cirrhosis and liver cancer. Another critical area is your hormonal health. Visceral fat, this belly fat, can disrupt your body's hormonal balance and it can affect the production of hormones like cortisol, which regulates stress and adiponectin, which regulates glucose levels and fatty acid breakdown. Disruption in these hormones can lead to increased appetite, weight gain, and further accumulation of belly fat. Research in endocrine reviews shows that this hormonal imbalance can exacerbate the risk of developing metabolic and cardiovascular diseases. So you guys, I want you to imagine this belly fat, this visceral fat like a tumor, and all it wants to do is get fatter as fast as possible, so it secretes in you these inflammatory hormones that we just talked about and it slows your metabolism it makes you hungry it makes you crave and there's no willpower in the world that's going to overcome these cravings so now you have this hormonal imbalance and these unhealthy foods that your body craves more so when you've got this visceral belly fat in there working against you it also impacts your cognitive health your brain health emerging research suggests a link between visceral fat and cognitive decline 
A recent study came out in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease and found that higher levels of this visceral belly fat are associated with greater risks of dementia and cognitive impairment. The inflammatory markers produced by visceral fat, primarily interleukin-6, contributes with neuroinflammation which can affect brain health and function over time. I know this is a hard one to believe because cognitive decline takes time, but we see it happen in our PhD weight loss clients frequently. We see the reversal of cognitive decline happen. Recently in one of our clients, his name's Jim, he had been going to a neurofeedback center a couple of times a week due to these cognitive decline issues. And the doctors were completely blown away, amazed that after participating in our PhD weight loss program, they told him that he didn't have to come in as often anymore. His assessment significantly improved as a result of eating a low inflammatory diet and collapsing that belly fat, that visceral fat. I wanna thank you for joining me in this first part of the two-part series on visceral fat. Today we explored what visceral fat is and uncovered five surprising ways it impacts your health, from increasing your risk of metabolic syndrome and cardiovascular disease to affecting liver health Health, disrupting hormonal balance, and even contributing to cognitive decline. Understanding these impacts is the first step toward taking control of your health. Stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to reveal the top signs that visceral fat is affecting your health and give you actionable, simple steps that you can do to get rid of it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for some more health tips. And please share your thoughts in the comments below all about any questions you might have on the topic of this visceral fat, this belly fat. And I'll see you next time.